assalamu alaikum welcome to my channel code city in today's video we are going to implement local notification in flutter uh, before i start i would like to tell you that i have created a facebook group for flutter so if you have any query re related to flutter you can ask the, this query on that group so uh, you can find the link of that group in the uh, description section so just go and join this group and also if you have not subscribed my channel yet then please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for the future updates so let's start our topic so as you all see that I already created the design of the application so you can find the link of the source code of the application in the description section so uh, in the application I have a list view and in the list view I have some football matches and on the right side I have a uh, I have an icon button so the purpose of that icon button uh, is whenever user presses this button so the application will notify the user that this match is starts so this can be done with the help of the local notification so for local notification we are going to use a package named flutter local notification to use that package go to the installing tab and in the installing tab you can either run this command on the terminal or you can just copy this code and paste in the dependency section of the pubspec.yml file and run the command uh, flutter pub get uh, but right now I'm going to copy this command and just run this command in my terminal After that you can see that the Flutter local notification plugin is now available in my pubspec.yml file. Now to use that package first we have to import the Flutter local notification Dart file. So to import that file just write import Flutter local notification slash Flutter local notifications dot Dart. Now after that we have to create an object of the flutter local notification plugin. So for that just write flutter local notification plugin notification plugin is equal to flutter local notification plugin. And then we have to initialize the settings for each platform that is for Android, iOS and Mac OS. But uh, currently I am only focused on the Android. So for that just create a method void initialize setting and this is an async function so just type async keyword and after that in that method first we have to initialize the setting of android so for that create a variable var initialize android is equal to android initialization settings so now as you see that android initialization settings required an icon so this icon will use to display on the notification so for that you have to copy an image uh, whatever you like on the android app src main resource drawable in that folder so as you see that i already copy an image named my logo.png uh, that is a simple flutter logo image so i'm going to use that image to display on the notification so what you have to do now is just write the name of that image in the android initialization settings my android score logo now after that we have to pass this android setting in the initialization setting so for that create another variable initialize settings is equal to initialize settings and just passed android settings initialize android now we have to initialize the uh, this android settings so for that 
just use the variable that we just created of the flutter local notification plugin notification plugin dot and in the flutter local notification plugin we have a method called initialize and in that method just pass this variable now we have to call this method before the build method so for that override the init method and call this method there initialize settings yeah. now that's it for the initialization part now we have to implement the logic behind this icon button so for that create another method and this method will be a future void and just name this method display notification and this is also an async function now uh, in that method uh, we are going to implement the logic of the uh, icon button so as i told you before that uh, whenever user taps the icon button so the application will notify the user when the matches starts so that means that this notification is an uh, is a schedule notification so to implement the schedule notification the flutter local notification provide a method called zone schedule method so we are going to use that method to implement a schedule notification on our application so for that we are going to use that method notification plugin dot zoned schedule now this is the method that we are going to use for the schedule notification let me do a little bit formatting now if i go uh, to the zoned schedule method you can see that uh, this will require an id a title of the notification id of the notification a title of the notification the body of the notification a scheduled date that when will the notification will pop up so and that is scheduled date will be a tz date time that means time zone date time and then we have a notification details and blah 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 so now we are going to give an id and that id will be a zero and the title of the notification will be the team names that which team match has started now so for that in the parameter we are going to take string match and we just pass this match in the title and after that in the body we are going mm, to display that match is started so just hard code this one match is started and in the schedule date so as I told you that in zoned schedule uh, it will require a schedule date in a tz date time so that means that we have to pass the date or time in the tz date time format so for that we have another package that is called a time zone package that is used to uh, that is used for the tz date time but as you see in the flutter local notification documentation and this will tell you that if I search tz yeah, here and there it is mentioned that as the flutter local uh, notification plugin already depends on the time zone package it's not necessary for developers to add the time zone package as a direct dependency so we don't need to add the time zone package uh, on the direct dependency on our project we are directly use the time zone package in our project because we uh, already imported flutter local notification package so for that first we have to import the time zone class and for that just import time zone and time zone dot dart as tz and another one that is import time zone data and latest dot dart as 
so after import this one we have to initialize our time zone so for that we have to initialize this time zone in the init state method as well so for that just write tz dot initialize time zones so this will initialize our time zone now in our method uh, first we have to trigger our notification our five seconds so for that in the scheduled date just type tz dot tz date time dot uh, now dot tz dot look so this will give me the current date and time but we need to add the five seconds so for that just type dot add and in the duration just write five now in the notification details as i told you before that we are currently focused only on android so we are going to pass the details of the android so for that notification details and in the notification details we have an android property android notification details and just pass First, we have to pass channel ID, channel name, and channel description. This will be used for the grouping notification, but for now, just leave this. After this, in the UI local notification data interpretation, in this, just use UI dot absolute time and in the android allow while idle that is that will be true so that's it for this method for the display notification and uh, now we are going to call this method whenever user presses this icon button so for that just go to the icon button on press method and just call this method and as you see that this will require a match so we will pass the value of the first team name and the second team name so for that data i dot first team name versus data i dot second team name now if I run my application oh wait I forget to write await keyword there so just write await now if I run my application so now if I uh, tap the icon button so the notification will be triggered after five seconds so if I tap the icon button so after five seconds the notification will be triggered so that's that's my notification that is my uh, the notification title that is the first team name versus the second team name and that is the body uh, which is I hard-coded that matches started so that is the way to apply a local notification in flutter but uh, what if the date and time comes from the API so for that I created a data model there and in there I just hard code a date time so I just replace these dates with my current date or and time so my current date is 19 and for the time I use double zero and currently right now the uh, it is 12 26 a.m so i just trigger my notification on 12 28 so double zero and i just write 28 and in the seconds i just passed zero zero for the real madrid and barcelona game so now in my main dot dart and local notification demo dot dart file what i need to do now is to take another parameter that is 
date time date time and now we can replace this code with tz dot tz date time dot from and in the from we have to pass first our date time and the location will be tz dot local so with the help of this method we can trigger our notification of the given date and time so let me just ch again change my time to 28 to 29 now in the method call I need to pass another parameter that is my date i dot date time now if I run my application so the uh, notification will be triggered on 12:29 a.m. so let me run my application and let me clear my previous notification now if I tap the bell icon so the notification will be triggered on 12:29 a.m. let me just and if you see now on the 12:29 a.m. now my notification is triggered so that is the way to apply a local notification in flutter so that's it for the today's video so if you have any query uh, related to this topic then you can ask me on the comment section or as i told you before that uh, please go and join my facebook group so you can also ask any query any query related to flutter on that group so that's it for today's video uh, we i will meet you in my next video thank you